after Danny Cowley was appointed as the Huddersfield Town boss this week. It's going to be interesting to see how that progresses. Uh, and we'll hear from him and Gary Monk now, who of course is the new Sheffield Wednesday manager. And ironically, those two will face each other in a Yorkshire derby on Sunday. It's about building a football club and that's and having the opportunity to be able to affect the club, not just not just the players on the grass, um, but to, to affect the whole football club from from the academy the, the, right the way through the, the community, um, which is which which you know are going to play a, a really really important part on 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 the next step of this journey. So to be to be able to to to, to do that to to have um, control over recruitment is is very important to us. Um, We've got some wonderful staff already here. Um, we've got some really, really good players. I think everybody at the club has has has, has been through the mill and found that found found this season and, and, and last season really really challenging. But you know the way the staff have conducted themselves throughout this period. I think you learn a lot about people in the face of adversity. When your back's against the wall, that's when you learn most about people. And the way the staff have conducted themselves through this period has been has been exemplary and um, we really look forward to working with them and then obviously you, you look at the supporters and just the way that the supporters particularly in the in uh, in, in in both years in the Premier League um, when when certainly they didn't always have it their own way on the pitch they just stayed with 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 the players stayed with the management team they were right behind them when when things went well they drove their energy when when things didn't go so well, they stood side by side. Them, you know, um, there are big clubs in this league, and you know, ones with like this one here. You know, tradition and history, and you know, to be part of that history is is, is an honour. You know, and you look at it like that as, as a manager, and um, yeah, I'm just. I think the overriding factor is I'm excited. You know, I want to um, come here and and get to work and get started. And I think at the start of every season, there's probably 14, 15 teams that all. You know, that's the ambition. There's no getting away from that, but. I think the process has to be, and what we've discussed, as as, as big clubs do, is, is you know that improvement day by day, take each day, try and improve the squad that we have in terms of of what we're doing on the pitch and and on our daily trainings, and and we know it's a capable squad, you know, but there are also a lot of capable squads in, in this league. It's about making sure that. We compete as hard as we can. The quality then comes through and, and yeah, take it step by step. Well, that's the thoughts of the two managers then, uh, Danny Cowley, guys. I mean, it's. I suppose something which has been in the pipeline for a while now that he's done such a good job with Lincoln. He was being mentioned with other jobs at a higher level. He'd been mentioned with Sheffield Wednesday, actually, in fact, before he took the Huddersfield role. Bobby, first off, do you think this is the right time for him to leave Lincoln? I do. For, for a personal point of view, I, I think it is good for him to, to be moving up the divisions now. He's had a good run at Lincoln. I think it's always good to get out when you're at the top, really, rather than maybe when it, it takes a bit of a downturn. Two promotions in three years at, at Lincoln, it is really good going for Danny Cowley. And I think now to test himself at championship level, it is just what he needs to prove that he's a manager uh, that everyone has been talking about. Whether Huddersfield is the right club for him, I'm not too sure, well, though. I'm just going to say, Tom, I mean, Huddersfield in problems at the moment. I mean, there's every chance that they could have back-to-back -back relegations. This is a tough ask for him to turn this around. Yeah, it's possible they could actually swap places with Lincoln, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, this time next year and be in League One. It's it's a strange one for me. I understand Danny Cowley's need and want to make the step up to championship level. And You mentioned Sheffield Wednesday. Mm. I think that would have made more sense. An established, stable championship club who are probably looking to push on towards the playoffs this season. The way Huddersfield has started, yes, they were in the Premier League last term, but they're right down at the bottom. They're on a really downward trajectory. They've only won three games in the league since the start of last season. It's going to be very difficult, no matter how good and how much belief he has in his ability for Cowley to go in there, hit the ground running. He'll be dealing with a number of international players, Premier League players from just a few months ago. Does he have the respect and the personality to really take on the job going from Lincoln to a team like Huddersfield? Yeah, well, time will tell, obviously. I mean, we look at Sheffield Wednesday as well, who are playing Huddersfield. They've gone with Gary Monk. I think this is probably about the fourth championship club that he's had in a short space of time. They obviously feel like he's got the experience that can maybe lead them 
all the way into the Premier League, having just missed out in recent seasons. Yeah, I mean, I'm not convinced by Gary Monk, really. I thought he did a really good job at Swansea when he first took over there, but I feel that was down to the familiarity. He'd, he'd been around the club as a player, hadn't he? He knew the ins and outs of it. Ever since then, he's really struggled to impress for me at other clubs. Maybe he was a little bit harshly treated at Birmingham, but I think certainly at Middlesbrough, at Leeds, he didn't step up and, and perform as uh, he was expected to. So I, I think it's going to be a tough job for him at Sheffield Wednesday. As Tom alluded to just then, I think Bullen was a great candidate maybe to take over. He'd had a good start to the season. There. He'd picked up quite a few points. They were heading in the right direction. So to then uh, go off on, on this uh, avenue with, with Gary Monk, I think was a little bit of a strange one for me. Well, again, we'll see and have a good uh, idea as to how it might develop after Sunday's clash. It's Huddersfield against Sheffield Wednesday on Sunday.